Welcome everybody here to our next webinar at uh, JFD Bank. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for those kind of uh, webinars. Today's topic yeah, is, uh, of course, JFD Invest, improve your investing experience. And all is about JFD Invest. So that's a real cool trading platform. You can follow pre-selected trading strategies by the platform and copy those trades directly into your trading account the good thing is you don't have uh, you don't uh, need any extra computer any extra uh, server or expert advisor for that all you can um, you need is the jfd invest account and then you do everything on the jfd homepage. so finally you act as a portfolio manager because you do the right decisions, hopefully, um, by selecting strategies and uh, allocate a certain amount of money of your JFD Invest account to a given strategy. And all the rest will be done directly by JFD, um, by JFD uh, Bank itself. OK, I got a question already here. Um, whether we have those webinars uh, on, in German as well. Yes, uh, normally we have both, uh, um, not simultaneously, but uh, Friday afternoon is always a German one, but only tomorrow there's no one. It's uh, in a week from now, you will find that uh, I think 4 p.m. German time um, on the JFD homepage uh, that there's another webinar to register for that and on the youtube channel you will find recordings of the german version as well okay nevertheless i keep uh, talking in english um uh, even i'm a native german of course and i think um, if i have here additional um, English uh, native speaking people, of course, I will realize my German accent. I cannot hide that, but um, I try to do my best in English as well. Good. So what are the topics um, really of today? I will introduce a little bit the JFD Invest platform. We talk about the highlights of last week, um, which have been the the trading strategy Hyperion, uh, followed by once again Gold Rush and then Neptune. I will show you the platform, and finally, I will show you my personal JFD Invest account because um, that might be a good example of what's possible with JFD Invest. And um, you will see my current standing, my track record was JFD Invest. So let's uh, show up with that topic later. Let me start with the highlights. The highlights, uh, I mentioned already, uh, the highlight has been the strategy Hyperion. And um, later we will have a better picture here, but uh, just for illustration purposes. Uh, so Hyperion is a strategy already earning 100% in one and a half year. So that's a great result for that strategy, mainly trading Dux and uh, Dow Jones. Uh, a few others are mentioned here as well. And last week, uh, there was a profit of a little bit more than 2% on that strategy. But you see, others are doing well as well. So uh, we are really talking of high performance uh, trading strategies. Uh, doubling the account in one and a half year is a fantastic result. Um, not many strategies can have can deliver so, those results. Um, so it's really a fantastic um, profit of that strategy. Let's have a closer look to that uh, in a minute. Before I do that, let me introduce you a little bit more JFD Invest um, that you see what's everything about here. And uh, if you start on um, the homepage of uh, JFD, then you will find a button Investing. And if you go there, you will be at JFD Invest. And first I will scroll down and later I come up with the topics of the beginning of the page. Here you see the top five performing strategies since inception. Since inception is always individual meant for that kind of strategy. JFD Invest is almost one year old. So starting September last year, and you will see that in my personal account as well. And um, 
But there are strategies, uh, I mentioned already, Hyperion is one and a half year old. Of course, the strategies might be uh, uh, older than JFD and West because uh, strategies have been uh, started um, before JFD and West already started. So therefore, those one have longer track record. Um, and we will see that, of course. You see that uh, those uh, top five performing strategies have double digit growth numbers, uh, which is really a um, fantastic result. And we have a few more statistics already here, but that I will introduce in a minute when I go directly to JFD in West. So that are the top performing strategies, but we have others as well, you will see. How do we part of JFD Invest? So it's really easy. The first thing is you need to sign up. That is a green button here. And that is just uh, creating a profile, meaning you register with your email address <clears throat> and you give yourself a password and then you have a profile. So that's the first. And even having that, that means you can already get some more details um, with uh, about the trading strategies you will see some more information if you like it then you might open a jfd invest account um, that's a special account um, because uh, you follow professional traders and therefore you get the same conditions on that jfd invest account meaning you have a leverage of one to 100 the maybe downside for you might be that you cannot trade by your own in that account. So you cannot open a trade uh, long euro, US dollar or short DAX. Uh, the only thing you can do is you can follow those trading strategies already mentioned. Doing so, you need to connect your profile with your account and then you can start um, um, that social trading or copy trading activity. So that's all you need. But you can do the first step already without even signing in. You can always go into JFD Invest just by pressing the guest access button. So that's really easy. And then um, you go directly to the JFD Invest platform. That is a, a single homepage uh, like this one here. And now you see already some more strategies so the first page there are 10 and there's a second page uh, with an additional five and now you see i mentioned already inception date uh, so inception date is the starting point of uh, that uh, account and you see uh, there are even strategies uh, already starting in april 2017 so those have a track record longer than uh, two years already which is good long records might be one of those criteria we discuss now. Because what I'm really doing here is I'm doing a review process. And so doing that review process should be or can be the same you do in order to find the right strategy to your personal preferences. Why do I mention personal preferences? Should we not all go into the best performing strategy, in this case, Hyperion, and then leave it? No, at least that's not my approach. It might be yours, but uh, it's not my personal one. My approach is always to really review those strategies and then finally to create a diversified portfolio of those strategies. Portfolios is always, at least in my thinking, the best you can do. And therefore, I um, recommend that. Oh, I simply forget one thing today, and I will do it now as we speak about trading strategies. As always, I have to show up once in a webinar as a risk disclaimer. And here we go. Um, just uh, to mention what, what's talking about the risk disclaimer. It's um, more or less telling you that, of course, we talk about trading, we talk about investing, but finally, if it comes to your activity, everything is on your own responsibility. I think that's quite self-explaining. And um, I just want to mention that during any webinar, so in this one as well. Okay, back to our trading strategies and that review process. That review process is meant to match your preferences with those strategies. 
what do I mean with matching? For example, we might talk about drawdowns. One element of drawdowns is that equity balance deviation. I talk about that in a minute. And that is a temporary loss you might have in your account. And in this case, it's 40%. And you, if that number is, let's say, too high uh, for your um, preferences, okay, then maybe you go for another strategy or you just allocate a portion of your money into Hyperion and within the overall account, such a drawdown of minus 40% might be finally just uh, 10% if you follow uh, for strategies, for example. So that's one element of creating that portfolio. It's risk minimization and drawdown reduction. So equity balance deviation is, let me explain it. Um, if you have a trading account, yeah, then you have an equity and a balance. And if you start trading and you don't have any open trade, then those two numbers equal each other. But now you open your first trade. And maybe that trade goes into the minus, and that is exactly meant with equity balance deviation. Those floating losses you might have in your account, um, we we uh, provide that number as well because it's important to know what's at least what has happened in the history. Therefore, we have that number. Other numbers are already here, uh, inception date, overall return, last month's result, year-to-date result. So you see Hyperion is really doing a cool job. And since it has been the top performer of last week, uh, I jump into that a little bit more in detail. Here we have the overall growth. It was the same picture we have had in the email already. And you see it's a steady growth, but you see drawdowns as well. And that is exactly those kind of drawdowns here uh, have been because of equity balance deviation. And since that number is that important, we have a graph versus time for that as well. And now you see, okay, the maximum number uh, has been 40% and that was in September last year. But overall, it's a little bit of characteristic of that tra uh, trading strategies that there are always a certain amount of floating losses, as you can see. And we will, later we will have another strategy with a totally different picture. So overall, it might be 10% um, as an average, but from time to time, even higher. As we speak, it's close to 20%. So nevertheless, we know that. And if we know those results from the history. At least there's no prediction for the future, but at least we know what has happened in the past. So that's one thing, uh, looking for that. Another important um, graph might be the equity. And before I go for equity, you see there are two green lines, and that's once again the equity and the balance and you see the difference has been exactly the equity balance deviation but now you might realize oops what has happened here in march this year what a step down and don't worry that was simply a withdrawal of that trader so you took out some money and taking out some money here has nothing to do with you and your money it's the master account and um nothing else so that has definitely no impact on any money of on your hand, but it's good to understand if you have such steps here and you don't have that step in the rows, then it must be a withdrawal and even a step up might be a deposit. Uh, so both is possible. Looking to other information we uh, make available on JFD Invest to any strategy is, for example, the monthly return table. Okay, the ideal thing would be a totally green one and you will see one in a second. Um, Butterfly is a strategy having a totally green monthly return table, which is fantastic. And you see some more trading statistics. You see more than 2,000 trades have been executed on that trading strategy within one and a half year. Um, so there's statistics behind, which is good as well. Also an element maybe of your review process as well. Finally, you might be interested in the traded instruments and you will find them here as well. And therefore I mentioned this strategy is trading mainly 
Ducks and Doug Jones. Um, a few other symbols are traded as well. But anyhow, as uh, a majority of our trades are themselves two indices. And also that might be one element of your preferences. What kind of symbols do you like to trade? And in this case, it would be those two indices. Finally, if you go for details, there are two um, other important information. The first one is, okay, the minimum investment sum you have to allocate if you want to follow that strategy. And in this case, it's, it is a 6K euro. And the other important information, I don't want to hide that, is there's a performance fee involved, uh, which is 25% of them for any strategy. The good thing is it's performance fee. So, and those, the calculation is done on high watermark principle. That means only if your followed strategy reaches new highs on a month's end, end base, then that charge would, uh, that fee would be charged to your account, but only in this case. So high watermark is, uh, at least to my knowledge, the fairest you can do, and uh, then you pay from the profits 25%. But there's no management fee, no baseline involved, so it's the only um, a fee which is involved. And all the numbers are, which are presented here are always after commission, after spread, so the same you would have in your account. So there's nothing extra on any markup or whatever. Looking to a strategy, meaning looking to the drawdowns, looking to the traded instruments, that gives you a feeling, at least for the history. And that should be part of any review process. I mentioned that there are other strategies having a totally green return table. Yeah, butterfly has not been on the, um, on the top three of last week, uh, but maybe next week. And you see, water grows. It's not that high than Hyperion, but quite steady. And you see the monthly return table totally green. And the other good thing is, um, let's have a look to the traded instruments. Trading statistics already within um, 10 months have been executed more than 2,000 trades. And the traded instruments are, let's call them minor. Uh, major, sorry for that. Um, there's no real definition on that, but if you look to the traded instruments, we find U US dollar, Japanese yen, Euro, US dollar, British pound, US dollar. So more or less really major currencies, um, maybe yeah, even New Zealand dollar, US dollar, at least the US dollar is within that pair. So those are the traded instruments. The strategy is using elements of rebuys as well. That means, okay, um, in cases of losses, uh, there are rebuy elements. But uh, let's have a view on um, past trades uh, when it comes to my account, because then we can have a real look into the strategy and um, historical trades. But you see, quite great behavior. I want to mention one other strategy today as well, not Gold Rush because we have had that in the last two webinars already, but uh, let's have a view on Neptune. That is a quite cool strategy as well because that strategy is closing all trades, as by the way Gold Rush is doing as well. All trades are closed at the end of the day, so there's no overnight risk, no over weekend risk. So especially the latter one, no over weekend risk uh, is good. The overnight risk for Forex pairs is not that important uh, because at least uh, there's trading 24 hours, but over the weekend, who knows, especially in times of Brexit discussions. Um, so therefore that kind of element mm, is not that bad. That strategy, let me, give you some more details about that strategy because um, since I have direct access to the market, uh, master account, I can share with you some more results. Today is an empty day. There's no trades. The strategy is looking for power candles on a 
day base and then trading on M5. But the, the first decision is done at midnight. And if the previous one was a good power candle of that instrument, then a trade sequence is started. Let me show you what I mean with trade sequence. Um, that has been yesterday on British Pound uh, Swiss Forum. So there was a trade opening, the first one here, and now you see um, there was a long trade. And hmm, as you can see, the direction was a wrong one. Uh, so price went down and then here was a rebuy. Uh, two additional rebuys have been executed here. And now back here, trade sequence reaches um, take profit. Next try. Uh, when that trade has been ended, a new one has been opened um, at the end of the next M5 candle. And you see, mm, same story, long trades, but wrong direction. But with some rebuys, overall trade sequence, and those rebuys, by the way, are always just 0.01 lot. So there's no martingale element, no um, position size doubling or something like that. And then the trade sequence, which is take profit once again. Next trade open. One we buy here, take profit. Next, and so on and so forth. And finally, the last trade has been um, just been closed um, by time stop at uh, German time uh, half past ten, so server time half past uh, nine before swap costs, and that's all. That's that kind of strategy. And you see. Um, we can get quite well results with uh, such kind of uh, behavior. And uh, okay, they have been drawn out. Yeah, so you belong to trading. Um, but overall, strategy is doing a quite good job. I mentioned that I would like to, to show you my personal JFD Invest account so that you get a better feeling of what's really possible with JFD Invest. So I have a profile and I have an account starting with 10K last year, September. And that is the overall, um, that is the overall growth over time. And you see until May this year, it was really more than fantastic. And then a few drawdowns, okay, but that, is fine with me as well, because what I have applied here was what is called um, risk management, what you can do with any strategy if you follow that, such a strategy. You can, you can set a certain limit that a strategy reaching that limit is automatically stopped out. It's something like a stop loss, but on a strategy level, not on a single trade level. And that means, okay, I realize that it's a loss and strategy is not copied anymore into my account. That has happened, okay, but still I have a gross return of 28% and I, my target has been to have it 25 um, for one year. I'm still above target, so uh, I'm a little bit more conservative here uh, as we speak. And let's have a view on my current allocation. So I, in total, I follow currently six different strategies. Volcano, PowerFX, Archimedes, Balance, Neptune, and Gold Rush. <coughs> and you see from a few strategies, I used risk protection as well. And that is exactly what I meant with um, risk management. And let me, let me explain you uh, in two steps what, I, what is really meant with, there, with, uh, with that. Before I come to that, you see how easy it is to 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 allocate your money. Uh, if you want to stop any strategies, it's just pressing the stop button, and then all trades are closed of that uh, um, copied strategy, and no trade is uh, opened anymore. It's that easy, and you can do that step wherever you are. The only thing is you need access to the internet. Let me go back to uh, risk management and how that is meant. <coughs> For example, if I want to follow um, Hyperion, it's just pressing the button follow. And now you see I can't do it uh, practically because minimum amount is 6K and I have only available 200 euros. So 
it doesn't fit. But anyhow, I want to explain the risk management. And that is pressing that button, uh, agreeing the terms and condition. Now I have a slider. And putting that slider, for example, on 50% would mean that out of my, if I follow with 6K, which I can't do, but uh, in this case, if those copied trades of strategy Hyperion would reach a loss of 3K, the strategy would be automatically stopped out. All trades are closed and no new trades are open from that strategy. And you see, that is an element of risk management. Putting that slider, for example, to 10%, hmm, honestly, for that strategy, it would not be the best idea because you have seen that the strategy lives from floating losses and later turning all those losses and profits again. So with 10%, I would be stopped out uh, more or less immediately. But anyhow, you can do those things. And that is just to, to uh, manage your risk uh, in, a, in, in, in a way you would like to do. So, of course, it's, um, it's your decision, as everything here at JFD Invest. Finally, it's your decision which strategy you follow and with what amount of money. And finally, with what amount of risk uh, management. But you see, it's completely easy to do all the things. And you can do those things wherever you are. Um, so even if you go on vacation and still have access to the internet, you can look into your, your account. And um, looking in, into the account is really cool because uh, what you can do is you can investigate your own JFD Invest account in the same way like you investigate um, any strategy. And that is just pressing uh, that button. And hopefully I, uh, the, the picture will show up in a second here. Um, let me at least try it uh, a second time. And uh, hopefully we get the numbers um, um, right away. It's always a little bit problem here, access to the internet and doing a webinar because um, of course, my my internet is uh, limited. Okay, it doesn't work. Then finally, I come to the question: um, What about? Uh, no, now we have it. Okay, uh, that's the overall account, and uh, and in the same way with the monthly return table, uh, number of trades in this case, five k trades. Well, and you see uh, open positions. You see closed positions, everything is um, possible in order to, to investigate here as well. And traded instruments, of course, that list is really long. There's a second page um, because it's everything accumulated of what I have done with my personal JFD Invest account. I mentioned that one element of uh, doing such a review process might be to, to have a look on closed trades as well. And I mentioned the strategy butterfly, uh, and I want to, to do exactly that step uh, with, uh, with butterfly. Again, the growth, and now since I'm logged in and uh, I have a profile, uh, therefore I can uh, see uh, at least all closed positions of that strategy in a second. You see here um, loading, and here we have the last trades of that strategy, mainly US dollar, Japanese yen. But what you can do is you can look to the volume and let me order those by volume. And then you see, okay, that strategy is doing sometimes even trades with higher volume as you can see here, but not that many. If I go further down uh, the list and you can see, okay, it was really the majority of trades are small sized, but a few one are of uh, high volume as well. And that is because the strategy is using some revise as well, but not purely Martingale, but uh, not in the same way like uh, Neptune with 0.01, uh, some, sometimes higher volumes are uh, involved here as well. Okay, then I would like to mention just for your own review process, finding the right strategy uh, for your decision, for your portfolio, 
for your JFT Invest account. And you might ha may have even better results than I have, um, hopefully. And uh, that is what's really possible on JFT Invest. That's for now. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have further questions, do not hesitate to send me an email. Um, or uh, if you like, you can you can use uh, my email address. Or what you can do is um, you can send an email to JFD um, to JFD support as well. And that is uh, support at jfdbank.com or my email address s dot friedrichowski at jfdbank.com. Okay, that's for now. Enjoy your day. Have a nice weekend and see you hopefully next week again. Bye-bye.